Hi there, Joe here again, your friendly cloud security and now IoT guy. I'm here today with a gentleman named Jason Fogel, who's the CTO of Mercom. Today we're going to take a deep dive on OpenGN, the first in a series. But before we start, I'd like you to look at the interface in the back and think about mating it to a big data analytics engine, whether it be QRadar or Splunk, so that you can have a big data analytics reporting, remediation, and 3D view of all the IoT sensors within your environment. So Jason, take it away. Thanks a lot, Joe, looking forward to it. Welcome everybody. We're gonna reintroduce you to OpenGN. Today is all about deep dives into specific applications that we support. As we discussed in the last video, OpenGN is a brilliant 3D user interface for intelligent building systems visualization. Just walking through the overall architecture of the interface, in the main area of the screen here, we can visualize individual buildings, campuses, or floor plans of a specific building in a very visual, visually appealing and intuitive way. Below the screen area, we see here an event list. The event list is what's aggregating all the information from your building sensors, actuators, and field peripheral devices, and displaying real-time events down for the operator to understand exactly what's happening on every point at every point of monitoring inside of your building. Over on the right hand side of the interface here, we can see a connection status. So as you're connecting to multiple applications or multiple controllers, the connection guideline here will let you know if everything is working properly or if it needs some attention. Just below that, we see the specific building navigation tool, which allows you to flip between different buildings on your campus. Below that, the floor navigation tool. So when you're looking at a specific building and you want to flip through those different floor plans to find your devices, and then down here at the bottom, this is brand new for 2019. This is OpenGen's extension beyond fire and security into some of the more modern building domains, including HVAC, metering, and lighting. So in the next phase here, we're gonna go through each of the specific applications and let you understand the power of this tool to bring all that information together in a centralized user interface. Here's our security deep dive. So in a security application, what we'll typically do is monitor all the access points on different perimeter entry points throughout a facility. Very typical in an office environment or even a residential environment, credentialed users want to enter into that building. So what they'll do is they'll use their access cards to swipe anywhere in the facility. And we can see here on OpenGN that it indicates exactly the point of entry for the user, the building where the point of entry is, the floor of the point of entry, and on the graphical floor plan, we can see the access granted and the restore of the system back to its normal state. We can visualize this in 3D or in the campus view as well. Camera views are an extension of security. So in the camera viewer, we can place virtual representations or symbols representing physical cameras in an environment. We can do that in a few ways. One very simple way is to create a layout of all the cameras that you can visualize inside of your facility. We can also flip back to the campus view and look through the different areas of the building to find physically where those cameras are deployed. So in our example here, we have a camera that's placed down on the first floor, on the main floor of the engineering area, which is identified by this camera symbol. So I can zoom in to the camera symbol. If I hover over that camera, and I get to the context menu by simply right clicking on the device and I look for the de detailed information of this camera, you can see that we're now interfacing to our NVR to pick up a real time video feed. And we can see, thankfully, that we have a customer down here at the counter today. So I can flip back to my campus view, I can set it back to auto watch and get back to my business. Let's do a deep dive on mechanical controls or heating, ventilation and air conditioning equipment. Again, starting from our 3D view plan of the building, the campus view page, we can either navigate through the building and look for our HVAC equipment, or we can use a handy filter down here on the floor plan to make that equipment easier for us to find. So if I jump up to the rooftop of the engineering building here, I can see that I've placed an icon representing a rooftop unit. If we want to find out more information about the real-time parameters in that rooftop unit, again, I simply right click, get to my context menu, and look for the detailed information about this system. Here, we've used Modbus interface to pull in outside air temperature, fan damper positions, 
fan speeds, and other information pertinent to the HVAC control system. This allows the building operator to very quickly get a real-time view of what's happening on the mechanical control system. A very interesting extension to HVAC controls view is our ability to represent digital twins of physical devices inside of a facility. So for example here, if I navigate to my production warehouse, I can identify the placement of thermostats within the facility. I can right click on my context menu and ask for the detailed information. As you can see here, OpenGN can create a virtual representation of a physical room controller or thermostat that's used to manage the set points, heating, cooling, and fan speeds within the facility. A further extension to mechanical controls or HVAC controls, and often paired together in intelligent building, is the concept of power metering. So again, using our filters here, if we focus in on this region, we can see that as we filter through the different types of equipment, different icons, present themselves on the floor plan, representing each of these types of equipment. So if we flip down to the first floor of our production, we can see in this region that we have an icon representing power meeting for the facility. Again, with our simple context menu, through a right click, displaying detailed information, I can now visualize the three phase power, the current kilowatt hours consumption, and current and power consumed within the facility, and if we look down here on the event list page, we can see that all of these measurements are happening in real time and populating on the list view. This gives you the most full set of information possible in a current intelligent building environment. Here's a deep dive on how OpenGN supports lighting controls and can present real time information as to the lighting circuits or zones or fixtures in a facility that are currently active. Again, starting from the 3D campus view, we can flip to our building of interest in this case here, we'll go back to the engineering building. We can immediately see the illuminated lighting zones on the floor plan here. And if I flip to the specific floor, I can see that there's a light blue color indicating the specific areas of the building where lights are active. The darkly shaded areas represent light fixtures or circuits that are currently off. I can also very simply have lighting switches, which can reflect the real-time status, green being a, a status on and red being a status off. So OpenGen is very flexible to support visualization of the lighting with inside of your facility. OpenGen has its core roots in fire detection and alarm. So let's have a look at some of the types of graphical presentation of fire detection events that we can see on the user interface. If we activate a manual station within the facility, we can see that OpenGen will reflect that somewhere in the graphic pane itself. In this case here, rather than display the fire detection alarm event on the graphical floor plans, we've actually created a virtual list of all the physical devices under management in the OpenGN. This is a different type of view which can be used to streamline the representation of the physical data in the environment. You can see here that my alarm was activated, it was restored, the timer has expired, and it's reactivated within the OpenGN system itself. One of the most interesting tools that we've incorporated into OpenGN is the ability to pick up a web view of trending analytics data coming in from some other source software. So in this case here, I can navigate to my HVAC equipment on the rooftop of the engineering building. And when I zoom in to my device icon representing my rooftop unit, from the right click contextual menu, instead of viewing the detailed information, in this case, I'll pull up the trending data. What you can see here is that we've embedded real-time data over a period of time that will present to you things like the outside air temperature for the past day, week, or month, also presenting information about the set points within the system, and this allows you to do some advanced data analytics on top of the SQL Server database, which is native within the OpenGN. So I'm sure you're wondering how we actually put this all together. How do we bring all the applications into one unified user interface? How do we lay out our graphical floor plans? How do we create the 3D representations of the buildings? And how do we assign points to specific parts of the graphics? Well, this is all very simple and easy to do within OpenGN. We jump down here to the configuration button at the bottom of the screen. When we get into the configuration, you can see that there's a few different areas which allows us to configure the buildings and the points in the systems themselves. First, we can manipulate the graphics. So we can set the campus floor plan, and we can set the individual buildings and reposition them within the campus themselves. 
In addition to laying out the floor plans, we can also add things like handy labels, so for example street addresses, locations of fire hydrants, entrances within the building. We can also add pictures or other information to help the user understand their environment. Down at the bottom here we have our navigation tool which allows us to flip through the different buildings, which is very important when placing devices. For device placement here, you can see that we have a job tree. The job tree is our connection point to all the different systems that we're monitoring within the OpenGN. So we talked a little bit earlier regarding security applications, fire applications, HVAC applications, lighting, metering, and more. Well, this is the source data that allows us to pull those points and the information into the OpenGN. From these source systems here, we can pick up the individual points of the systems and then place them down on the floor plans. For example here, I can locate the placement of my in-suite room controller and it's currently placed on the second floor of the production building. Beyond placing the specific devices, I have this handy settings tool which will allow us to configure the behavior of the device in its different states. So for example, what do I want to present to the user in an alarm condition, in a trouble condition, an off normal condition, and a normal condition. You can see that we have also a little color palette here which supports creating 2D and 3D zones which can illuminate based on these different state changes. So overall what we're presenting here is that all of the configuration is done within the OpenGN itself. It's a very handy built-in tool to move your devices around throughout the facility, to place them in their appropriate locations, and to configure the correlations and rules based on the state changes of the devices. All right, so you've seen individually the deep dives and all the specific applications. Let's look through this setup here of how everything comes together. So the first demonstration we want to do here is activate a fire alarm. So when the fire alarm system activates, we're going to also notice on our room controller that we can have a virtual display that allows us to silence the buzzers and acknowledge that alarm by hitting the system reset command. I'm going to physically restore that device and we can look at how all of these activities are reflected here on the OpenGM itself. So the next application, back from the home view here, is our handy access control. So from an access control standpoint, as I swipe my card reader, we're going to see that I have some activity here on my floor plan. I can identify that device by double clicking, see it here on the engineering floor plate on the second floor. I see the uh, alarm come in and then also the reactivation or restoral of that system event. OpenGN, as we mentioned, supports digital twins of HVAC and thermostat type equipment. And we saw that earlier in the production warehouse by identifying the thermostat on the floor plan. Well, we can also have this digital twin represented on the room controllers themselves. So this is a bi-directional communication tool that can actually touch back with our physical thermostat and that passes information over our secure network, which is IP enabled. In addition to the HVAC, the fire, and the security applications here, we can also do device control and audit logging of the messages. The messaging tool is very similar to what we see here on the OpenGN when we go into our event log page, and the event log here from OpenGN or from the room controller will give you full diagnostic data of everything that's happened inside of your building. Lastly, from a device control perspective, we can also control wireless devices within our system. So if I pick up my devices page here, you can see I have a graphical floor plan similar to the floor plans that I'm laying out here on the OpenGN. And from that graphical floor plan, I can pick up a wireless device and I can hit the toggle button to activate it. And we use wireless mesh networking in order to do so. Finally, the last part of our applications integrating the HVAC security and fire together is the video intercom functionality. So from my video intercom screen, I can make a call out and I can see how that can populate here on my screen itself and or within the OpenGN. So I'll just end that call. We'll come back to the OpenGN interface and we can see that as I've been going through all these different demos, OpenGN has been tracking all this information in real time. So this is really the full ecosystem of Mircom products which offer you a complete user interface to view all the different systems within your intelligent building and back-end SQL Server database support for your advanced analytics. Thanks for spending time with us today.